All right, today we're underneath our mature Wolf River apple tree. As you can see, it's dropping apples like crazy. So what we're gonna do is utilize this resource that we have. You can either you know, put them in the compost pile, feed them to your chickens, or today we're gonna feed them to our pigs. So as you can see on the ground here, we got plenty. So we got a couple five gallon pails and we're gonna start, I'm gonna start picking these up and we're gonna bring them over to our pigs and they uh, really enjoy that. All right, we're able to pick up two five gallon pails underneath that one tree. So I usually just dump them out, let them eat them as they want. Um, usually within the day, putting out uh, 10, 15 gallons worth of apples, they'll, they'll be gone by the next day. So we're able to salvage the apples that are on the grounds from our trees. And we also ask our neighbors and they're more than happy to have them pick them up out of the, off the grass. So when they're mowing, they're not, uh, not in the way. So they're happy to see them get, get used for something. So. As you can see from the last video that we had, it was about a month ago, the pigs are looking looking decent. Um, they're, they're a little more a little more calm than uh, what they have been. They're getting a little more used to people being out here and everything when we're coming out with the feeder. So usually when they see us coming, they're kind of kind of happy to happy to see us coming. They're, they know we're bringing something, uh, whether it's food or treats. So um, you can see the grass is looking pretty good. We we did have good uh, precipitation this summer. So we moved them uh, just a couple days ago. They really liked on that lower side, had more clover. That was the first thing they went to when they got in here was down on the, on the lower edge by the fence and uh, eating up the clover. So next month uh, we're gonna be butchering all the pigs. So we'll see uh, We'll see how the, the weight the weight looks uh, when, when it comes time. So we'll, we'll compare that to the last couple of years compared to the inputs that we put in and uh, kind of see how we finished out. All right, guys, stay tuned for the next video. Uh, we'll try to show you some more updates with how these pigs are doing.